Hello, I'd like to welcome everyone to this Clean Vehicle Rebate Project dealership webinar. We've got an agenda here before you. Um, I'm not going to go through it line by line, but there are a few areas that we're going to highlight. The program overview, program updates, and additional incentives where we'll include an update on green HOV decal availability. I'm going to go ahead and hand off to Janelle for the main content of the webinar now. For the program overview, rebate funding is available real-time on our website at cleanvehiclerebate.org under the Available Funding link. For our program updates, the so fiscal year 2015-2016 includes income eligibility changes. Senate Bill 1275 required Clean Vehicle Rebate Project to implement eligibility criteria based upon income. ARB approved the fiscal year 2015-16 AQIP funding plan in late June 2015, which included changes in the CVRP based on this legislation. Those changes include income cap for higher income consumers and increased rebate levels for low and moderate income consumers. Income eligibility implementation was March 29, 2016. The income eligibility changes apply to rebate applications for vehicles purchased or leased on or after the implementation date. Consumers are no longer eligible for CVRP rebates if their gross annual income is above the following thresholds. $250,000 for single filers, $340,000 for head of household filers, $500,000 for joint filers. Gross annual income is determined by the amount reported on the applicant's most recent federal tax return. That can be found on IRS Form 1040, Line 22, IRS Form 1040A, Line 15, and on IRS Form 1040EZ, Line 4. The income cap applies to all eligible vehicles except for fuel cell electric vehicles. The rebate amount is increased by $1,500 for low to moderate income consumers. To qualify, the applicant's household income must be less than or equal to 300% of the federal poverty level. A household includes all family members or other unrelated persons, including the rebate applicant, who reside together and share common living expenses. Gross annual household income includes that of the applicant and all other individuals in the household ages 17 years or older, regardless of whether or not they are related to the rebate applicant. A subset of applicants will have their income verified before they receive the rebate for both the income cap and the increased rebate. Applicants selected for cap income verification will be required to submit a completed copy of IRS Form 4506-T. Applicants selected for increased rebate income verification will be required to submit either proof of participation in at least one public assistance program on CVRP's categorical eligibility list, or one completed household summary form and a completed 4506T for every household member age 17 and older. The standard rebate amount remains $5,000 for hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles, $2,500 for battery electric vehicles, including the BMW i3 range extender, and $1,500 for plug-in hybrid electric vehicles. The increased rebate amount of $1,500 applies to the hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles, bumping those up to $6,500. The battery electric vehicles up to $4,000. Plug-in hybrid electric vehicles up to $3,000. Neighborhood electric vehicles and zero emission motorcycles remain at the standard rebate amount of $900. Eligible vehicles include new vehicles, new vehicle rollbacks, unwind vehicles, and unregistered dealer demo vehicles. Written confirmation from the dealership and or additional documentation will be requested during the application review process. If a vehicle history disclosure form is available, please include it with the purchase or lease agreement. Ineligible vehicles include but are not limited to used vehicles, previously registered dealer demo vehicles, previously registered service loaners, previously registered extended test drive vehicles. Previously registered vehicles have been registered to another party, including the dealership, prior to retail sale or lease. In order to receive the rebate, applicants must be an individual, business, nonprofit, or government entity based in California or have a California-based affiliate. 
purchase or lease a new eligible vehicle, own or lease that new eligible vehicle for at least 30 consecutive months, including California DMV registration, apply for the rebate within 18 months of the vehicle purchase or lease date, and meet the income eligibility requirements. To complete the application process, go visit cleanvehiclerebate.org, select the vehicle type and fill out the online application, submit supporting documents online, and then receive a check via mail. Now I'm going to discuss the five supporting documents and provide some additional detail on each. First supporting document is the application form. The application form download will be available on the status page immediately after the application has been successfully submitted online. A copy will also be emailed to the email address provided on the application. The applicant will need to print and sign the application form, and we do not need the terms and conditions pages returned to us, only the signature page. The second supporting document will be the purchase or lease agreement. If the purchase or lease agreement is long, please overlap the information from one page to the next to make sure nothing is cut off in between scans. If the purchase or lease agreement is in multiple pages, please include all pages. The most common reason for application rejection is incomplete purchase or lease agreement. On the purchase or lease agreement, the name and address must be present. The name must match the application, but the address does not need to match the application. The date of purchase must fall on or before the application date. All fields must be visible in the vehicle description, including the vehicle year, make, and model, the VIN number, and odometer. The vehicle status must be marked, and if any other status than new is marked, a follow-up will be required. On lease agreements, the lease term must be 30 months or greater and must match on the application form. All financial details must be legible on the form as well. Signatures must be present on both the purchase and lease agreements to be considered signed and executed. The third supporting document would be proof of registration. This must always include the applicant name, address, VIN, and any relevant dates and buyer signature. Please provide a scanned copy of the temporary registration after the name and address have been added, but before it is attached to the windshield, or provide a complete copy of the application for registration of new vehicle to meet the registration requirement. If your customer does not wish to complete the application process at the dealership, they can also submit their permanent registration when it arrives. Our fourth supporting document will be proof of residency. All California residents will only need to provide a current California driver's license. The driver's license must be current at the time of application. It cannot be expired. The driver's license must be complete, clear, and legible. And the name on the driver's license must match the name on the application form. And again, the address on the driver's license does not need to match the address on the application form. If the applicant does not have a current California driver's license, a DMV interim or temporary driver's license will suffice. The fifth supporting document is a 4506T. Only applicants selected for income verification will be required to provide this document, and only applicants selected for income verification will receive a copy of the 4506T. A 4506T will be attached to the confirmation email along with the application form. A household summary form will also be attached where applicable. A completed and signed 4506T is required to authorize CVRP to request a transcript of the applicant's tax return from the IRS. Increased rebate applicants will also be required to submit one household summary form along with a completed 4506T for every household member age 17 and older. For Tesla documents, we accept the final price sheet and the vehicle con configuration sheet together. The VIN is required and the accepted by customer date must be present on the vehicle configuration. This date is considered the order date and the proof of signature. If this space is blank, we can accept either a signed and dated terms and conditions, all pages must be included, or signed and dated delivery decoration and due bill. We also accept a conditional sale contract and security agreement, again all pages signed and dated, and a lease agreement, all pages signed and dated. We do not accept review copies or pro forma documents. Applying at the dealership ensures funds are reserved for the customer at the time of their purchase or lease. 
You can help customers out greatly by providing scans of all supporting documents. Many applicants do not have access to high quality copiers or scanners at home. They'll be extremely valuable for your customer to get a complete quality copy of their lease or purchase agreement at the dealership. You can get your customers to documents received status in one sitting, meaning they just have to wait for their application to be approved. I'll now be discussing some additional incentives. These are separate from the Clean Vehicle Rebate Project from the State of California. You can visit driveclean.ca.gov, perform a search based on the technology type and the zip code of where your customer lives. And this will pull up regional incentives. For instance, San Joaquin Valley offers up to $3,000 on top of the Clean Vehicle Rebate Project. And the city of Santa Monica offers free metered parking for those with HOV stickers. The federal tax credit ranges from $2,500 to $7,500. This is based on battery capacity. You can find more information about that on fueleconomy.gov. HOV lane access stickers. For the white clean air vehicle stickers, they have an unlimited amount and expire January 2019. Green clean air vehicle stickers have reached their maximum of 85,000 stickers. The DMV is accepting applications without payment to establish a queue in the event more stickers are authorized by legislature. Your customers will also be interested in reduced energy costs. Time of use rates give customers access to lower cost fuel. Uh, they should contact their utilities if they qualify for special EV rates or other incentives. And here's a list of the main utilities in California with their respective web pages that are specific to EV charging. I'll go ahead and turn the presentation back over to you, Andy. Thanks, Suzanne. <clears throat> Appreciate you going through the uh, coming content of the uh, project and the additional incentives. Hopefully everybody found that very helpful. I'm going to go ahead and cover promotional materials and additional resources available that you can leverage to help you sell more electric vehicles. I'll start with the Clean Vehicle Rebate Project developed free CVRP dealership promotional kit that is available for your use. These free promotional kits have been customized for your dealership with your EV's picture on the front of the incentive flyer as well as a unique URL. The picture included will be of the all battery electric vehicle versus the plug-in hybrid vehicle affiliated with your respective OEM prevent any confusion as battery electric vehicles are eligible for the $2,500 CVRP rebate, whereas plug-in hybrid electric vehicles are eligible for the $1,500 rebate. The information list on the back shows the details on all the incentives available for purchasers or leasees of electric vehicles that Janae has just reviewed. It covers information on the rebate, federal tax credit, and HOV lane access sticker. These flyers are for consumer use, can be placed in the vehicles, handed out to people to visit your dealership, test drive an eligible vehicle, or handed out at any events your dealership participates in. Additionally, we've also developed a dealership fact sheet for internal use by your dealership staff. It's a great one-sheeter for members of your sales team to use as a quick reference and details rebate amounts for the various vehicle classes the steps involved in the application process, eligibility criteria, and other EV incentives available. Again, this piece is more of a reference piece for dealership staff versus customers. To order these free materials, just send an email to dealership at energycenter.org. Outside of the CBRP promotional materials we've created, we also wanted to highlight some other online resources that are available and have been created by outside parties you may find these helpful to leverage in your EV sales pitch. We will start with the Electric Vehicle Explorer. This was created by UC Davis. It's a free online tool that enables users to compare transportation energy costs for both gas or electricity for any vehicles they choose, plug-in hybrid electric vehicles, internal combustion engine vehicles, or battery electric vehicles. They can customize them for their typical travel patterns. The tool does a great job of clearly displaying energy savings by replacing their internal combustion engine vehicle with an electric vehicle. Below that, we have an e-gallon calculator. It's a resource created by the U.S. Department of Energy that compares the cost of driving on gasoline versus driving on electricity. Cost is updated regularly and can be seen as a national average or the average of a particular state. Also created by the U.S. Department of Energy is the Vehicle Cost Calculator. 
It compares the total cost of ownership and emissions for makes and models of most vehicles. Below well, that, you have PlugShare. This is a mobile app, an online resource that's great at showing where EV charge stations are located nearby. It can be a very helpful resource to reference when speaking with customers that are concerned about your respective EV's range. While most EV drivers charge their vehicles at home at night, knowing that there are publicly available electric vehicle charge stations close to them may help to relieve some of their range anxiety concerns. Finally, for those of you selling fuel cell electric vehicles, the California Fuel Cell Partnership has a great resource. This website displays locations of both current and planned hydrogen fueling stations. And lastly, as a reminder, all information related to the Clean Vehicle Rebate Project program can be found at the program's website, cleanvehiclerebate.org. I wanted to thank you for listening.